Question number one, what's your name? Shikes DL, AKA the General, AKA the Barbarian. Those are my names, man. <laughs> Question number two, what do you do? Um, rapper, videographer, photographer, man, um, and radio personality. Question number three, where are you from? I am from originally from the Bronx. Then I um, moved to Far Rockaway and I'm presently in uh, Rhode Island. So those are my areas, man. Shout out to Sheridan. That's where my name comes from, Shiesty. Shiesty app, AKA Sheridan. That's, that's where my name comes from, Shiesty app. Question number four. How long have you been in the music industry? Oh, uh, well I've been rapping since high school. So I was about 17 and um, but I would say like professionally or taking it serious so to say, I would say about the last five to six years now that I've been, I've been staying with it strong and, and consistent. Question number five, what music releases do you have out at the moment? Do you have an album out? Where can we get it? In fact, I do. I have two albums out right now um, on iTunes, uh, Amazon.com, anywhere you can find music. You can find me. So it's like any website, Google, music, anything, you can find me. And I'm currently working on two mixtapes that will be for free on that Piff and um, all mixtapes websites. Uh, one of them is going to be called the Barbaric, Barbaric Music, and the other is called the Saturday Morning Mixtape. So look out for those. Question number six. What other producers, songwriters, and or artists do you see as your primary inspirations? Producers? Oh, man. Um... You gotta say Dr. Dre, of course, man, legend. Um, Premier, of course, legend. But I, I, to keep it real, my, my all-time favorite probably producer will probably be Just Blaze. That's like a dream producer for me, like for me and him to work together. If I ever get the chance, that would be, probably be my like, dream record. Um, artists, oh man, too many to name, but I, to just name a few. Of course, 50 Cent, you know, I gotta rep Queens. Um, Nas, of course, Eminem was big and a lot of people don't know Bone Thugs and Harmony. So if you listen to my music, you know that. But I used to love Bone Thugs, man. Like their first album, um, no, the second album, East 1999, was a classic to me. So you can see me kind of reference their music a little bit and, 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 and my music. Question number seven. What's been your inspiring moments in the music industry at present? Oh, man. Um, seeing lyrics come back, it's been inspiring me here lately. Like, it, it looks like uh, the, the lyrics are coming to the forefront again. You know, it feels like we lost it for a little while, so people felt like music was kind of dead, or lyrics was like really underground, underground, but it seems like it's coming forefront with artists like J. Cole, Kendra Lamar, you know, uh, making it all about the bars, and, and you know, even Jay-Z, some people feel like he's up there, but he, he's been hanging with the big boys and doing his thing, so lyrics are like they're coming back, so that's keeping my pen game strong. You know, and, and, and of course people from Third Society, my homie Rudy, he was a poet, but he gets busy. My homie Jay Deuce keeps me on my toes, man. So, you know, creates a new breed of the fan, the team, you know what I'm saying? So out of, from the mainstream to my team, they, they keep me inspired. Question number eight, what are your views and thoughts about the music industry? Um, a lot of people like to talk bad about the music industry. I'm not the one to complain. I mean, I had I had my bad runs at times with it, but I, I feel like you know if you put in the work and you stay consistent, good will come back to us. I want those positive things because I don't want to bash it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like there's a lot of politics, of course, but I feel like um, that the fact that it's going more indie, where you don't need a label anymore, that people can start doing what they really want and and start making the music they want to want want to do instead of. Thinking um, labels making them do it all the way they want it, you know what I'm saying? So it's coming back to artists having control of their own music, and and that's dope. Question number nine: Where would you like your music to be in five years' time? Honestly, I hope when you listen to an album by me that is it's timeless. Like I, 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 if you listen to me, I, I feel like my beats are different from from a lot of other people artists that's out there because I, I try to select music that. Or beats that sound like a soundtrack so like soundtracks are usually timeless you know I look at my music as art like if you can look at a painting from a hundred years ago and it's still be beautiful that's how I feel like my music or uh, music should be so if you listen to my music 10 or 15 years from now it should feel like you just listened to it for the first time so hopefully if you listen to me it's art 
Question number 10, last question. What would you like to tell the fans and viewers? I would say thank you. Thank you. I, 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 if I get 10 views on a video, I am grateful. If I get 100 views on a video, I am grateful. If I get a million views, I am very grateful. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't here to complain. I just, I, I just want to say thank you to all my fans. Y'all the reason why I, I put out two albums in within a year. Um, giving out a free mixtape to say thank y'all. Or two free mixtapes for y'all this year. Um, I, I'm thankful for everything, man. I'm, I'm thankful for Third Society Entertainment, man. Look out for that. We, we, we building, we're strong, man. We got poets, we got actors, we got uh, rappers, you know what I'm saying? We got videographers. So I'm thankful for my team. I'm thankful for the fans because the fans make us. We, we are nothing without the fans. Salute to y'all.